This time we're going to share how we build dining room table. Uh, during the process we ran into a few problems, but we managed to solve them. We got this old slab of sugar pine that has been laying outside for a long time. First we are going to move it inside and let it dry out. Next, we plane the top. Soon we discovered that it's very difficult to make the surface flat, even with our almost 7 inch wide planer. We needed to come up with a solution. To take it to a lumberyard was an option, but even they would not have a planer for our almost 40 inch wide wood slab, so we decided to do it at home. First we needed to secure the slab from warping. Because even though we dried it for almost a year, it still continued to warp across its width. We attached metal tubing to the back side of the slab to prevent warping or cupping. Then we moved it outside. We needed to find a very even surface. So we used table rails from our sawmill. We fabricated an attachment to hold our 7 inch planer. The rails worked as a guide and with some testing and engineering our device was ready. It was a slow process because the wood piece was 12 feet long. We were able to run the planer for the whole length and width of the slab at the same level. To plane deeper in the wood, we were cutting the sides of the, our machinery a little bit to lower the planer. Finally, after many passes, we got a very flat and even tabletop surface. Just what we hoped for. Now we needed to cut the sides. For that we are using a beam saw. A beam saw is a circular saw that uses a very large blade, more than 16 inch in diameter. Very slowly and carefully we cut off the sides. We wanted to add a certain look to the table and our famous furniture designer Nini came up with the idea to use dark walnut wood for the sides in contrast to the light sugar pine. 
walnut it's a harder wood and will protect the edges of our table. It took us a little extra work to join and glue several walnut pieces together and attach the finished it pieces to the table. Then we sanded it all with very fine sandpaper. We added wood plugs to cover screws and bolts. For that we used also light sugar pine wood to give a contrast. For the finishing coating we used several coats of tongue oil. We let it dry at least one day between coats. Now we're going to bring the table some legs. We need to use a forklift to get them. And Nene is an excellent heavy machinery operator and enjoys every moment of operating the forklift. We're going to use these massive logs with barrels for the legs. They have been laying outdoors for a long time, so we easily clean them off with a pressure washer. Then we send them. Finally, we coated them with a varnish. With a little measuring and adjustment, we attach the top to the two legs. And now, our new dining table is complete.